In Sweet Mess Pastry Competition, players play as competing chefs trying to gain the approval of the master chef. Players will take turns collecting ingredients and preparing and completing recipes to score points at the end of the game and earn rewards for their baking. On turn, the active player will move their action marker to a new action space in their bench and then take one of the actions listed below. By paying a golden ticket, you may take both actions. The first action allows you to gain a tool card which can be used on a future turn. Their abilities vary and you can hold up to three in your hand at a time. The other side of the action allows the player to collect up to four ingredients from a bowl in the center of the table. Each bowl can hold up to four ingredients which will be used in the various recipes you can make, but you must keep a tidy bench so when collecting ingredients they must be stored on your bench in specific ways. This area can hold four ingredients but they must all be different. This next area can hold up to four of the same ingredient and the last area can hold two pairs of ingredients but they must be different from each other. If there is ever an ingredient you can't place on your bench it must remain in the bowl. There is also space on your bench to hold up to nine golden tokens and spaces for six stored ingredients. There are six types of ingredients in the game and super ingredients which act as wilds when being stored on your board and used in recipes. If when taking ingredients from a bowl, that bowl empties, it makes a mess. Here you take ingredients matching the bowl's color and you place them into every orthogonal bowl and then the empty bowl flips over which now will show a new ingredient. If the bowl is on the edge of the game area, you will also place tokens in the leftover board spaces that are adjacent to the bowl if they are empty. The second action space allows you to again collect ingredients from a bowl and the other half of the action allows you to advance any recipes under your bench. More on that in a moment. The last action space allows you to collect ingredients from one of the leftover tiles. There will be at most three ingredients on a leftover tile and if ever an empty space shows a golden token you may collect it when taking this action. Lastly, this action allows you to prepare one or two recipes from the recipe board. There are level one and two recipes. The level one recipes are slightly easier to prepare and come with a bonus when they are completed but are worth fewer points. The second level recipes require more more ingredients but are worth more points and have two icons pertaining to the recipe type. When preparing a recipe, you must turn in ingredients matching the ones shown on the recipe. If ever the ingredients are shown as gray, you can use any ingredient type you like so long as they are not a color that's also shown on that recipe. Remember, you can always use super ingredients as a wild ingredient type. Once you turn in your ingredients, collect the card placing it on one of your bench slots instantly gaining the reward shown. Bench slot rewards vary depending on how far left it is on your bench. The leftmost slot shows a jar which allows you to store an ingredient by discarding it and taking a matching ingredient shown on a jar. You now permanently have one of this ingredient. Now your dessert needs to bake and each time you get to advance your recipes, move all recipes under your bench one space to the right. Once recipes are off your board, you can use them to gain awards based on their icons. Once you've completed your actions, you can reserve a recipe by discarding a tool card. The reserved recipe goes under your bench and once again earns you the instant benefit shown, but you must still prepare this recipe before it leaves your bench, otherwise it will not be worth points and the card is discarded. If you already have a reserved recipe, you can prepare that recipe rather than reserving something. After this is done, all recipes under your bench advance one space to the right. Finally, check to see if you have earned any awards. Awards will be given out if you've collected two or three of the same recipe icon shown at the top right of recipe cards. Remember, level two recipes have two icons for the recipe type. If you have two recipe icons, you may collect a bottom shelf award and place it on your award board. The earlier you collect awards, the more valuable they will be. Each bottom shelf award also allows you to claim a bonus from the toque tile. If you have three of the same recipe icon, you can claim a top shelf recipe which is worth 5 points on top of any points from the award itself. Players will go around the table taking turns preparing and completing recipes until one player has claimed their third award. Complete the round and play one final round and now it's time to calculate scores. Players will score points printed on prepared and completed recipes, victory points shown on all awards plus 5 points for each top shelf award and 1 point for every stored ingredient they manage to get. Now collect 1 point for every 3 leftover ingredients, golden tokens and tool cards and the player with the highest score wins.